This is Die Sporting Network. What, what, what. Back here in a game action. We're walking here to Comet Park. Here at Catonsville, and the Comets up one nothing here. Had many technical difficulties to handle. Comets setting things up, trying to go up two. They've won the first two face off here in the contest so far. Setting it up well. Right on his side. Was looking to shoot. Gonna hold again. Ball on the ground. Able to scoop it up. And not able to. Effort will get their first chance of the contest today. The Bulls coming in as 1-2-0. They got gains against Towson as that was intercepted. And against Delaney coming up. As you may have not heard, the NPSSA playoffs will return for the spring sports. That will begin on June the 7th. We will try to have some coverage of some of the action for you here on the SN. Couple chances there. Spins, a back shot, and it went wide. The ball will stay with the Comets. Down there, and a one nothing lead. Here early, Kate fell at 4-0. On this young season, so in the case of the classes, NPSSAA, Catonsville is in the 4A, which is the higher enrollment, Heifer, and 2A. Enrollment twice as small as Catonsville, but on the field of play, improvement don't matter. We're just trying to do that for seating purposes here in Maryland. Couple passes around the bend. Trying to set it up again. Catonsville defense haven't been tested yet in this one. Nice pass around the goal. Another good one. Trying to get it where it belongs though in the basket. Patience here from the Comets. That one hit wide and ricocheted. Here comes the Bulls. And nice catch, the long stick on this end. Looking to go inside. Nice block there by the goalie. But the Bulls get it back. As they try to set up around the circle. Let's go, defense! JV put out a shutout for Heifer. Well, this one came on. 13 up and win on the JV end. Cakefield scored that first goal. Always getting a technical difficulty situated. Why? Right, we apologize. That was the first goal for Catonsville all day on either end. Shooting it in, and scored it through! Tied at one! Nice shot there on goal. Chase Gibbons with that one to go through for the Bulls. It's a tied one game. 7 6 here left in the first quarter. Let's go, White! The road to Loya has opened up. That's where the lacrosse championships will end on June 18th and 19th at Loyola University. The question as you always say, who's gonna be there? If almost City Lacrosse has ended, with City College going undefeated. They beat Polly the other day to take care of business there. And then the MIA, congratulations to Boys Latin, A Conference, Friends and B Conference, and Key and C Conference winning the MIA championships on those structure. Then Boys Latin, we did that Loyola game. What a game that was, and then they did one better, went beat McDonough, and then the classic and Spalding, they were just rolling. The classes galore. Congratulations to the Lakers and D in the A Conference. Right now for Hereford, they're trying to set things up to go up 2-1. Well, 
couple passes. Good patience here again by the Bulls. Very special Monday matchup here. Was looking to shoot. The pass went wide. Still down, the ball is down. And the ball will stay with Heffert. Right, a quick hold there by Catonsville. And we're gonna do it again. On the other end, softball going on. Good to see the swing boys as things inching closer and closer. Back to normal from the global pandemic of COVID-19. Looking to shoot there. And intercepted. Picked off. Here comes the Comets on the other end. They're trying to get up 2-1. Nice way to keep the ball in the stick there as they're in scoring position. Southwestern Baltimore County. <laughs> Couple passes. Looking to go in, intercepted. Bat it down. Still not claimed, though. Catonsville do claim it. They get it back. Key possession here. And score! Right in there. A plane floor right through the middle. A 2-1 lead for the Comets. That was a nice shot on goal, and it went straight through. Let's go, Nathan! Two one advantage now for the Comets. As Hefford wins the face off there. Let's pass up. Rained earlier in the day. A little bit of heavier precipitation came now. Not that heavy. Field is very good for crossplay still. Overcast. Hopefully the rain will stay away while this one is going on. First flood of rain since a couple weeks ago. We was at Condea Prep for baseball. That was the last rain chance. That was almost three weeks ago. Here comes the Bulls. Nice save. Brian Ruppel with that save. And the Comets trying to go up two goals. Checked. Ball's loose. Hanford gets it. The Bulls in there. Yellow and maroon helmet. And their biggest contest so far the year. They still have, again, Townsend and Delaney coming. As the season be coming to a close in about a week. Like you said, the postseason will begin. High pass around the bend. Was looking to go in the score. They swing it back. Spin move out of it twice. And shot wide. Wide of the net. Ball back to Catonsville with 247 here left in the first quarter. Back here. Catonsville trying to control things here. He's looking straight for unassisted goal. Defense collapsed in time. 225 here left in the first quarter. Expect a good one between these two Baltimore County powers. Did you hear what 
Passes. Double checks. Pass in there. Swing it back around again. Trying to go straight. Nice. It was technically a save. The ball hit off the stick. For the goalie there for Hafford. Ball will stay with Catonsville. Logan Bush with that nice save there. Can he do it again? Nice pass! And Bush again with a save. Hafford gets it back as Bush looking to clear it. All the way up near the 40, and does get what he needs. Here comes Hereford on the offensive side. Down a goal. Here's the first quarter, coming to a close. Let's go, White! Chances here on goal. Swings it back. Spins out. Looking to shoot. 18 seconds left here in the quarter. The defense of Catonsville, very impressive here so far. He lined up well. Trying to set it up. They got to get it in. Five, four, three, two. Ball popped out. And a nice save. And that's going to end the quarter. The one, two, one lead here for Catonsville at home against Hefford in this key MPSSA showdown here on the dice right now. Second corner here, about to get on the right of Arnstein right here with your Comet Park in Catonsville High School on the southwest side of Baltimore County. The Comets up two to one in the white. Effort won the face off there. Ball was lost. He's in what I like to call no man's land. And Catonsville intercepted it and gets the ball back. Setting it up again. Comets defensively. Shooting it, and Bush saved it again. Key <laughs> possession here for Hanford on offense. So down a goal still. Teller, swing it back around again. Hanford. Game is key for points. Tiebreakers, like I said, with the playoffs not being known to come back. Pretty much was played who's in your subdivision. But now, with things opening up and the postseason being a part of things now, games against high season, it was a shot! And goal and score! What a goal there! Here for goal by number 10, Logan, Sensor Box. Sensor Box with an out of box shot. And it went right through the goal. A 2 2 tie. Let's go, Nathan! Yeah, between these two teams, like I said again, we expected this one to be this way. There you go, Nathan. 
Fighting for that one. And Catonville wins the faceoff. I don't know. Wow. It has to be a flag there. And it will be against Hefford. Lot of, lot of stick there. Tripping call. Might be a man advantage as well. Calm is trying to go back up. Back up. We're back to game action. Bush again. Very impressive since giving up them two goals early. Really held serve. Effort with it back. They're trying to go up for the first time in the game. Ball's in the air. Ball still down. It's a lot of physicality in that middle there. Who the flag is on? A lot of contact going on. I think Catonsville will get the ball back here. It's all size play. Nine forty four hit left in the first half. Ball loose on the ground. Comets get it back here. High pass. He's looking for that flamethrower shot. Tight in there defensively. And the ball came loose right into the arms of Heffer. Here comes the Bulls on offense. Bulls trying to set it up here. Pass, shot, and it went wide. Ball will stay with the Bulls. Thirty-two after in the first half. Swing it back a couple times. Coming, coming over. Swings it back. Knock down there. Close to being a call, but no call. Heffer still gets it, but now it is intercepted fully. And the Comets, and the ball's loose again. Ball still in the air. Yeah. 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 Up. Yeah. The Comets. Yeah. Nice pass. Yeah. And a goal. Yeah. Right in there, and the Comets back up. Razor with the goal. Got it right there. The pass was perfect. And the comments Let's back up one. Three to two. That's center. At that C. And the comments win the faceoff. It's able to withstand original pressure as well. <laughs> Turn over the win. Move a shot on goal here. 
Get out of there. Three two lane here for Catonsville. Both teams trying to keep the hole in the loss column. That hole gonna be gone for somebody after this one. Tight pass. Ball's kicked, but throw back into the way the comments. High pass. Slide over. Fake set. And went wide. Ball stays with the Comets. 621 here left in the first half. <laughs> Nice pass! Scores it in! Bush is out of position, and he got caught. The Comets up two goals here in the second quarter. Where'd it go, Byron? That's what you like to see right there. They got Bush out of position as a 4-2 game. Now a little pressure now on the Bulls on offense. And they're able to win the face-offs here in the second quarter. Face-off. Again, the Comets win it. Ball's loose. Stick came away as well. The Bulls trying to get within one. Couple passes. Looking to set it up. I heard that. I think you guys are. Long pass there. And a nice save on goal. Thomas, get it back. 5 10 here left in the first half. Thomas starting to play that pace. Long pass. That was a nice one. Right in there. Went over the net. Over the net there. Almost went in the uprights. As the Comets retain possession here. And try to set up to go up by their biggest margin, three goals. So, wait a minute, look like some trouble. Skipped it, it went wide. If it goes out of bounds, it's going back to Hefford. Hefford will get it anyway off the scoop. Double, nice pass to get out of it. And now up the field. It's looking. Slow down the momentum a little bit with the love tap. When you move in, when do we move? I said it's about a four week of play level. I said the holidays coming up. So really after Thursday, teams won't be back out till Tuesday. Uh, Hanford girls in Catonville, girls playing at Hanford. Shot it and it went wide, wide right. As the ball will stay with the Bulls. Looking to go straight in there. Nice save right in the net. Right in the goalie stick. An impressive save there. 
Pretty good goaltending so far in this. <laughs> Couple chances here on goal. <laughs> Two forty nine here left in the period. And in the first half. Oh, ball's loose. Got it back in and score. Again, Bush is out of position with the goalie. Tom, it's up by attitude. <laughs> Gotta give a lot of credit right now to Catonsville. They have turned it up offensively and put a lot of pressure on Hafford on defense. Whistle. Heifer will win the face off there, off, off the offsides. So now, really, a key possession here for Heifer. We gotta firstly pick it up. It's been met. Kingsville defense has really looked good so far, especially in goal. Looking to score, it skipped, but it went right into the net. And the, and the stick of the Bulls there. The ball's loose now. The Bulls get it back. Another chance on goal. 1.46 here left in the half. Fakes it. High pass. And Catonsville gets it back. Went to the soccer net. There was some soccer going on here in the springtime. Like I said, you've seen us have a couple spring football games here on DSN. Oh, said that, that started our spring season this year. And nice. Nice passes. There comes the comments there. And we got a timeout. 119 left here in the first half. Catonsville up by the two. Back here at the game action. 119 left in the first half. Catonsville trying to go four goals here. They're up by the two. Here in the latter part of the first half. Couple passes back around. <laughs> Down to a minute left. In the first half. Chase the couple. Ref had to get out the way of that pass. Nice ball work here by Catonsville. And also trying to run a little clock off with it. And almost intercepted. It was tapped. And again, a timeout. This time we will stay with you. And David, thank you so much for checking us out on the Dice Money Network, Instagram, and Twitter. At Dice Money Network, of course, as always, our official Facebook page, Dice Money Network. And finally, right here on YouTube, the drive to 1,300 subscribers. And we thank you all so much for it. Checking this out, checking out the lacrosse action we've had for you this season. Sprinkle baseball game. We was hoping to get another one in. The weather not looking pleasing for Friday coming up. In all in the hood, our spring season will be done, but we got some basketball news. If you've seen it on social media, Sunday, our traditions we do every summer, the Brunson League, season seven, back here on the Dinosaur Network, and we will be live streaming it to you here, here on YouTube. They're gonna go every Saturday. We'll definitely be with you the first Saturday, not sure. With you all the Saturdays here in the season. We'll definitely be with you here on Sundays. That's coming up in June, Boston League Season 7. See that right here on the Dinosaur Network. 
Open coming up here. We have some AU action coming. From the, yeah. From the Memorial City, actually the Memorial Day weekend, Bump City Shootout. Should be having that coming and a little bit of Pitch League girls action as well. We're gonna have that coming to you. That one, that shot went wide. 17.6 left here in the half. We got a lot coming your way here on the Dice Run Network. And hope you stay tuned here this summer. Couple chances here for the half. 11, 10, 9, 8, 7. Picked off! That was an Ed Reed like interception, but with the stick. Two, one, can it get it at a time? It pops up in the air. That's going to be the half. Time right on Hefford's side there, trying to get that in goal. So at halftime, indeed it is halftime. 5 2 lead here for the home comments. Trying to stay undefeated. Trying to go to 7 0 here on the season. We're back with the second half here in Comet Park here on the Dinosaur Network. Stay Second half here, about to get underway. The Comet Park, a little bit of drizzle at halftime. Still not much to affect much of anything. Ball still on the ground. That ball still scooped everywhere, my goodness. It's still rolling. Finally, Catonsville do scoop it up. Nice pass there to get it in, in the safety. Nice catch there in the net. And their Bush was able to get the save there. Ball still down, still on the ground. Effort scoops it up. They're down three goals here in the second half. Quick timeout here by the Bulls. I think it was a wise timeout indeed. Bulls have it, man. We're back to game action. Trying to get it in, they passed it back out, and a score in there! That cuts the lead to two. Perfect goal to the team, Logan Sensabach. Sensabach for the second goal, I believe, of the contest, and that's a 5-3 lead here for Tainsville. The Comets still up two. Right here, Nathan, let's go, buddy! The thing I shake it on all, keep, keep pushing. Softball in, JV and Vossi was playing. It was Towson against Catonsville on the uh, softball side of things. We're back to center for the faceoff. Ball skipped. Went wide still. Still. And the Thomas somehow get it. One of the ones you got to run for dear life. Oh, that's a hole. That was definitely a hole right here. No call by the refs there. Mr. Comets trying to set it back up here. 10-29 here left in the third quarter. He like said both teams undefeated coming into this game. Surely will help the winner, especially now with the MPSSA playoffs. 
around the corner now. I'm not sure if it was going to be a postseason. Since it will be now, on the outside for the Baltimore City side, they're ending lacrosse early. There's not really much to do for the next 10 days. Plus, they ended on Thursday of last week. Those other counties are still going to be playing lacrosse. In Baltimore County, which their season will end this coming week, I believe. And then Anne Arundel County season will end next week. Skipped, and it went into the soccer net. It scored a goal, but does not the lacrosse top. Let's go, Thomas! Kingsville with it back. Skipped again and went wide. This time it's going to help. Bulls will get it back. It's a little different view for you today. Now cinematic movie version as that one skipped. And now they got it, and the ball's loose again. A couple checks got it out. They're fighting for it. Hard there. And finally, Hanford picks it up. Bulls trying to cut the lead to one. Yes. <laughs> A couple drills with shots now. Effort against setting it up. <laughs> Looking to go in, the ball's on the on the ground. Hefford scoops it back up. <laughs> Looking a couple times. Went up. Kicked. Hefford still gets it back. Man behind the net was able to get it. He's swinging it back around again. Bulls down two goals in the third. And nice save there. And Peyton holds strong on defense once more. Ball was loose, got it back. He's telling led director, last Catonsville event. Been at right across the way is CCBC Catonsville. IBO. In the first year. Had the first matchup there against North County in Anaconda County. Was a pretty good contest on the basketball end. Check that out on our DSN archives. Might be buried in them now, but you can check it out. Type it in on your search. Come on through. The day that was. That's some good action. Trying to use the force. That one skipped wide. It will stay with the Comets. Going in. Over the net. And it went wide. Keep shooting, my red. Keep shooting, guys. Again, the win playing a factor. Not a major factor, but trying to get a high shot that can play a factor there a little bit. Trying to go in again. This is the comments. Nice move. Nice pass. And moves it through. Yes, sir. Delusa with that one to go. And the lead back to three for the home comments. <laughs> Six eleven here in the third. What a goal that was. What kind of goal you like to see. In the afternoon lacrosse. 
There we go. Face off. Oh boy. And down on the ground quick effort when that is changed. The Bulls again find themselves down three. See him, DSM, we're back on the basketball courts. Come up here. NPSSA playoffs. We're hoping to bring you some action from there. High one, nice save again by Rupo. Rupo has had a couple good saves in this one. That one, right there, checked. Here comes the Bulls. They got to play with some urgency. Nice pass! Scoops it in! A little alley oop action there. And a two go game again. <laughs> nice pass. Work there to get that one through. Rain has picked up a little bit more. He's picked up a little bit more now. Goal there. I see no, I see face off there. We thought Hanford won it. The ball still skipping. This is rolling. And now Catonfield scoops it up. Comments, a whole lot of flags. That's gonna be against Hanford. Got away. Long pass. If Hanford touch it, they do. And there's the whistle. Finley against the Bulls. Rain has now played a factor. But I don't think the shower will be a long one. And again, it's a light drizzle, so it's not an extreme factor on the field. Again, most of the football field is not Astro Turf, so it kind of helps things. It's this time of year. Couple plays here. Long pass around the corner. Nice pass inward! And it went wide right. Out of bounds. Comets keep it. And have another chance to have a shot on go. Ooh, nice fake. They swing it back. Pass to the outside, had it. They lost it very briefly, but got it back. Rotating it around again. Oh, scoops it in! A little hot shot, it went up, went through. Lead back to three. Seven and four here for the Comets. Let's go, Nathan! What you like to see right there. Kingsville tacking on offense. Getting it done. Face off. Ball still down. Ball still rolling. Ball to Everett. That one could have went either way, in my opinion. Four minutes here left in the third. 7-4 lead here for the home comments. As both teams trying to keep their undefeated records intact, but somebody's old gonna be gone after this one. <laughs> Look in the score, it went up in the air. Trickles. A lot of checks. There, Heffert keeps it. Oh my God. 
fakes it. Was looking for pass foul still on the ground. And Catonfield scoops it up. Whoa, look out. Flag down big time. Kelly against Heffer. <laughs> Three on two here left. We're gonna set this baby up on this side of the field. Here we go. Rain has lightened up some again. <laughs> nice pass work here by the Comets, trying to go up four goals. Their biggest margin. Nice pass behind the net. Now they swing it back around to the front end. Two twenty-four he left. Nice save there by Bush. Got a stick on it. And Hefford gets it back. That was a huge save for the Bulls. Uh, for a goal. So a lot to overcome. There's only one quarter left. Switch it up a little bit. Nice right, so on offense, 152 left here in the half. Here in the quarter, excuse me. And third. On pass. Looking for the flame thrower. Didn't want to throw it yet. Coming straight in, and it skips wide. Hefford gets it back. 120 here left in the third. It's going to be a timeout. We'll take one, two. 120 left in the third. It's a 7 4 lead here for the home comments. Back to game action here. 112 and counting left here. And third for Hefford. Coming straight through. The pass was high. Whoa, look out. Ooh, that was close. Nice save there by Hippo. And then it was a mosh posh in there to get that ball. The comments able to get the possession back. Good luck, John. Here's Hefford. Here come the Bulls. The Bulls could have got that. A lot of flags there. A lot of physicality there. Another penalty against the Bulls. Canefield will get it back with 29.7 here left in the quarter. Russell well, talking now. I'm going to assess on this. Well, this one carry into the fourth quarter. Hefford had a good shot there getting a the goal in. Neppel was not near the goal line. Near, near the net. He could have got a quick one. But now Catonfield will take advantage. At the end of the third quarter, right at the door. Right, play will resume. Prokowski led the charge most of the day. He's done well. 
Seconds. The clock has ran out. Couple checks at the stick. Right. And that's going to be the end of three. And at the end of three, the Comets up by three, seven to four. Fourth quarter. Coming up here on the night. I didn't do anything. Fourth quarter about to get in the way here. And, uh, Sus and penalty, no face off here. It's penalty against Heffert before the end of the third. And Catonsville will have a chance here to add to this lead. And remember, in lacrosse, no lead is safe. Got to keep the pedal to the metal. Looking to shoot. Lost it wide. Push down. Catonfield should keep it. They will. Off of the push. I think so, yeah. 11-18 here left in this one. Couple checks. Throws it in there. And it went short. Bush with the save there. Bush has done a bad job. The couple of goals in the in the first half there was off him being out of position. And the comments to their credit took him out. But this one wasn't playing, this was playing pickleball. Oh, I mean, not pickleball, it's fight ball. Before a game. I mean, Hanford holding the ball now. They're at a disadvantage. The defense for Catonsville set up well. Either when they snapped it or they just a piece of bone off the yeah. Got ball still down. Catonsville scoops it up. Go, comments. Help on the comments with it. Long pass. Got it. Comments. Trying to make more advantage for themselves. Ooh. Ooh, tight one set. For that loose ball. Again, the comments stay complete. They can, they can do a little keep away. He said they are up by three. Run some time down and go for a score. Bush. That, that one went straight down. Goes to his lower air. Hit the ankles. Try to make sure he's all right. Air 
Jennifer gets it back. In the ring or something. Nice move there. Rain's starting to intensify again. Again, the Bulls on the advantage right now. Looking to score. It skipped off the end. Ball will stay with Hefford. And that one could have been rain late. Ate it there. 749, he left in this one. Looking to go straight in, and it went over the net, and the ball back to Catonsville. Just trying to force that action a little bit. Again, like I said, Bulls are down three goals. Long pass there from Ruppel. Catch there in the stick again. Like I said, Catonsville can play a little bit of keep away here. As long as it's rain, they miss them. Had that nice rain a couple minutes ago in the third, and then it slacked off. And so the shower should not be alone. It's 48 left in this. Both teams scored two goals in the third. Little checks with the stick here. Almost couldn't handle it. Dead though. Got it, Johnny! Oh boy. Got a chance here. Scores! That might have been it there. Eight four lead there for Caden Fell. Brian Newman, the junior, with that one. That might have shut the door. Perhaps. They're still on the car, so four goal lead in the fourth, still not safe, but make you feel much more comfortable. Peyton Carroll controlling the pace of this one. He's back to center. Effort control the face off. Nice hit for the Bulls. They got to play desperate now. Fake sit. Shoots it and scores! Long distance. Super shotter. And it got through. Cuts the lead to three. Sensor Boss. Boss with his second. Might be his third. Might be a hat trick. Caught this name earlier in the game. That's been a hat trick there. 5.33 left. 8-5 lead here. Effort still down three goals. It was a huge one there to get that one. Straight center. Effort again wins the faceoff. That one went wide. Effort keeps it on their end here. He's trying to get a quick lightning bolt there. Looking for two quick ones. Scoop pass. Looking to shoot. Held back. 5-10 left in this one. Right in the glove. 
Mavarupo. Right in that, in, in that goalie stick. And picks. Here comes the Bulls. Nice fake. Thought he was going to pass. He didn't. Pass. Shot. And it went wide. Nice pass, shot, ruffle right in the goalie stick. Got the save there. This plays pretty well here. Couple checks. Long pass, went wide down, lost it. It's going to Heffer. Herford down, three goals here. They're trying to cut this to a two goal lead. Physical. That went wide. So Herford gets it back. Right over, over the net. 351 left in this one. Not there. And on the side and Ruppel. Nice moves by Ruppel. Get out of that. And then able to get the ball as it comes back upfield. That was impressive. Two fifty six left. Very nice. Let's say again, Thomas can play keep away. They're up three goals. Ball game, you would say. Nice setup, delivery and finish. Byron New in his second goal. Way to go, Comet! 9 5 lead. Four goal deficit with 2.28 left. Makes a little bit too much to overcome here for the Bulls today. Hey, what up, Nathan? Back here to center. So you say, they scrapping for that one. Effort coming up with it. And like I said, they got to work quick. Oh, nice way to get that ball out. Comets get it back. Now they can really play keep away. High pass. Couple checks. Heffer gets it back. 151 left. Yeah, Rob. Rob's getting the government, Mike. I've been a little bit interference there. Tip that one. And which way is going to go? Hundred and eleven seconds left. It will stay with Kate. Yeah. Villa Lacrosse loving that here. And
gonna take one too. 151 left. Nine five lead here for the Comets. In good position to stay undefeated. Back to game action here. 151 left. Catonsville with a four goal lead. Trying to as they say, put it on ice. In the bag. The long pass. They say really. There you go. That's a hat trick there. Tyler Muskin. Mikulaski there, 10 5 lead. Comets. Let's definitely put this one away. 140 left. Let's go, Nathan! Five goal lead. Kind of. Very hard for that to be broken. And a big win here for Catonsville, indeed. Like I said again, the MPSSA. Any playoffs coming at you? Flag. It will be against Catonsville. I think that's only Catonsville's second penalty of the game. The Bulls definitely. So they got some of their other tougher games coming as well with Towson Delaney. Good luck to them on that. It's this week. Rolls through. Bruce. So good luck to all our teams in it. Couple again the pass work. Just trying to get it in into the goal here, you have it. So Catonsville defense been really impressive in this one. Offensively have set the tone. Ball loose. Tried to get scooped. And Catonsville do scoop it up. Like I said, they're going to play keep away. As you know, ball back on the deck. Catonsville scoops it back up again. Ball still rolling. Now Ruffle to goalie. Goalie to goalie straight up there. Bush. Got it over to one of his guys. We're down 18 seconds though. Tried to low scoop it in there. 10, 9, 8, 7. And Ruppel got it. That's gonna do it. Catonsville record will stay undefeated. 10-5 win here for the Comets. And they go to the record of seven and zero here on a season effort. Drop to two and one on the season. The Comets, very impressive win for them there, controlling the pace. We say so long to you here at the ISI Network. Hopefully for spring sports, it's not over for us yet. NBSSA playoff action coming. But we're going back to the basketball court again with the Royal Shootout. Bump City, maybe some pits action. Course season seven of the Bronson League. More information to come with that coming up. Until all that stuff happens, we'll see you down the road. This is Die Sporting Network. What? What?